Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the back just for a few minutes. And stretch the arms and legs out. So just take a moment to stretch your body. Ugh, big breath in, inhale, exhale, hug your right knee in. And then just start to, start to alternate, drawing the legs in one at a time. If you want to bring in a little more core, which you don't have to, you can always lift the head. And so our overall theme this month is gratitude, is appreciation. And so as we start to connect to the balance practice, start to feel into gratitude as sort of the grounding force, even as we are working with asymmetrical uh, poses and shapes, gratitude for the body, for the breath, appreciation to explore. And the next time you have the right knee in, go ahead and hold, lower your head. Stretch your leg up, press up through your heel. Just wake up the big muscles that support and stabilize us. Inhale, exhale, hug it in. And then switch right leg out, left leg in. Give that left knee a little hug. And then press the foot up towards the sky. Point or flex, just stretch through the leg. Inhale, exhale, draw the knee in. Reach your arms and legs out long, inhale. This time as you exhale, bring your right leg up, stretch your left hand towards the leg, and then back. So opposite arm and leg. Again, the head can stay down, or you can lift your head up as you come up if you want a little more core in your practice, but opposite arm to leg. Take your time, no rush. So we're working that asymmetry. Waking up the stabilizers, a little bit of support, getting a little length through the hamstrings and the calf. Couple more. One more to each side. And then stretch up. Exhale, sweep your arms out to the sides, bend your knees, take the feet wide, and then roll the knees in and out. So just loosen up the low back. Let the knees roll side to side. Just a couple more. Loosening up any tension, tightness. And then come back to center. Walk your feet and hip with distance, arms down by the sides. Press through your feet. As you inhale, lift your hips, lift your right arm up, turn your head left. Lower your hips, lower your right arm, gaze just straight in front. Lift your hips, left arm up, look right, roll it down. So as we lift the hips, we're lifting up one arm and turning our head the opposite direction. So all of this is sort of preparing that balance, getting a little release through the neck and shoulders as we strengthen the body. Couple more. Good, do one more to each side with the arms. And then after you do both sides with the arms, keep your arms down, lift your hips into bridge, pause. You can stay here or draw your right knee in, place it down, left knee in, place it down, follow your breath. Just as though you were doing a little march here. Lift your hips. You don't have to lift the leg very much. You can even just lift up the heel. Couple more. All these ways to balance. Gratitude for the breath, for the body. One more. Hold, lift your hips. Exhale, roll it down. Keep your hands down, draw your knees in. Lift your legs up to the sky. Bend your knees, place your feet down. Don't use your hands, lift your hips. Lower down, knees to chest, kick the feet up. Bend the knees, feet down. One more time, lift your hips. Lower down, draw the knees in, lift the legs, stay here. Lower just your right leg. And then up, and then left. So alternating. So press your low back down. Don't, we're not trying to get do these big core movements. We do want some stabilization for balance. 
It's okay to have the knees soft. One more to each side. Hold the legs up, inhale, exhale, hug them in. Give yourself a little rock. Tuck your chin, roll yourself all the way up to stand. Feet hip width distance apart. Stretch the arms up, side bend left. Reach it up, side bend right. Reach it up, hips stay forward, twist left. Bring it up, twist right. Again, inhale up, exhale, side bend left. Bring it up. Side bend right, bring it up, twist left, and up, twist right, and up, inhale, exhale, side bend left, stay on the left, inhale up, exhale, twist left, inhale up, side bend right, inhale up, twist right, inhale up, exhale, forward fold, shake it out. Bend your knees, stabilize, squeeze the legs. Roll yourself on up. Take your hands to your hips. Inhale, roll up to your tippy toes and down. And just stay with this. If you want, bring your arms up as you lift and lower. Follow your breath. Balancing, waking up the legs. Keeping a lot of this nice length through the muscles. Balance work is very toning for the muscles and really good for the brain. A few more. Good. See if you can hold yourself up. You can have your hands out as wide as your shoulders or up or keep them down. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your legs. Lower your heels forward. Whew, shake it out. Rock your hips out. Step the right foot back six inches. Square the hips as you fold over the left leg. Just again, grounding, opening up the big muscles. Inhale. Exhale, step the right foot up. And left foot back. So just about six inches. Keep your hips square. You're going to feel that stretch of that right leg mostly. And then step back up. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach it up, big stretch. Side bend right. Bring it up. Side bend left. Bring it up, twist to the right. Bring it up, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale here. Inhale, up onto your tippy toes. Squeeze the legs, maybe open your chest and then twist to the left. And then back to center and then twist to the right. Back to center, inhale, exhale, heels down, bend your knees into chair. Hands can be at your heart or reach up, hold your chair, squeeze the legs, stabilize. Keep sitting back into your hips, strong legs. And then inhale, reach up as you lift up, draw your right knee into your chest. Exhale, sit back in the chair. Inhale, come up, draw the left knee in. Sit back in the chair. We're going to flow. So as you inhale, you're bringing one knee up. As you exhale, you sit back in the chair. So follow your breath. Take your time. And you don't have to lift the knee very high. And you don't have to sit back in the chair very deep. Just stay with your breath. Stay with that balance. A few more. Now the next time we lift this right leg, hold. Squeeze, open your arms and then twist, left arm forward. Twisting towards the leg that's up. Bring it back to center. Inhale, exhale back into your chair. Pulse in your chair. Make sure your feet are hip-width distance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the left leg up. Stabilize. And you reach your arms out. Twist towards that leg that's up. Squeeze the legs. Lift your chest. 
Big breath. Exhale back into your chair. Pulse. Make sure your toes are forward. Sit back into your hips. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Shake it out. Step back down, we're facing dog. Long line through the spine. Feeling everything hugging in. And then lower down to all fours. Inhale, right leg and left arm up. And lower, following the breath through the balance. Opposite arm and leg. Take your time, find the gazing point out in front of you. Belly draws into center. Few more. The next time we have the right leg and the left arm up, we're gonna hold. Hold, hold, and then lift and lower the leg. Just tap your fingers and toes and then lift. Tap and lift. Good, hold it up and then open it out to the sides and then back. Out to the sides and back. Side and back, last time. Side and back, take a big breath in. Exhale, lower the hand, lower the knee, push back down, dog or child's pose. Stretch it out. Come back to all fours. Lift up your left leg and right arm and hold. Stabilize. And then just lift and lower. Finger and toe taps. Good. And then reach it up and then out to the side. Last one. Bring it back. Inhale. Exhale, release the hand and the knee. Push back plank pose. Just take a few breaths in the plank. Let the body engage, let the hug in, and then push back down with up. Look forward, bend the knees, step or hop up to the hands. Fold over the legs. Bend your knees, hands to heart, coming into your chair. Squeeze the legs as you lift your heart. Lift up onto your right tippy toes. And then lower, and then left, and lower, and just alternate. So if you want a little more, you can reach your arms up. Otherwise, keep your hands at your heart and just alternate. Keep sitting back into your hips. Keep your heart lifted. Good. One more to each side. And then hold, and see if you can come on to both tippy toes. Sit back into your hips, squeeze your legs. Now try to straighten your legs up onto the tippy toes. Big breath in. Exhale, heels down and fold. Roll it on up. Hands to your hips. Ground into the left leg, bend the right knee. Pause here. Draw the knee out wide, place the foot for tree. Hands to hips, heart or sky. Get yourself ground. Come back to some appreciation for your body, your breath. And then as you exhale, draw that right knee back in. Arms out wide. Twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Squeeze the legs. And inhale, back to center. Try to hold that knee up. And then extend that right leg. Flex the foot, lift the heel. Big breath. Exhale, release it down, shake it out. 
Good. Other side, so ground through your right leg. Bend the left knee and just hold. Stabilize. I'm gonna rotate the hip, place the foot. Keep your hands low or start to climb them up, just getting into the hip. Inhale. Exhale, can you draw that left knee back in? Open your arms and twist. Stretch. Bring it back to center. Stay here, hold or kick that left leg straight. And again, it doesn't have to lift very high. Mine's not lifting very high. We're gonna feel the muscles stretch as we balance. Inhale, exhale, release. Good, shake it out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Take the right hand to the left wrist, stretch up and over. Take your left foot behind the right up on your left tippy toes, squeeze the legs as you stretch back. And then come back, left hand to right wrist, pull up and over, right foot steps behind up on the tippy toes, squeeze the legs. And then bring it back up. Exhale, forward fold. Shake it out. Separate your feet a little bit, lower your hips into squat. We're gonna play with a crow pose for a moment, just for a little bit of arm balance, for a little bit of difference. Now, if you've had enough, just stay here and stretch your hips. Otherwise, take your hands, so come back towards the middle of the mat, take your hands as wide as the mat, even turn them out. Bring your feet together and then come up on the toes, lift your heels, draw your knees up into your armpits. Look forward. You can stay here or shift the weight forward almost like you were coming into a plank and then start to lift one or both feet. So the upper body is like you were lowering from plank to the mat. Got the knees up on the arms, maybe balancing on the hands. Breath in and out <laughs> and then shift back onto your bottom. Whew. Soles of the feet together. Give yourself a little rock <sighs> and then fold forward. And just take a few breaths, let everything start to settle back to center. Heart rate, muscles. Balance is so important. It really keeps the mind healthy and agile, and it really fires up the whole body in different ways. And it's different if we're balancing on one hand and one foot, if we're balancing on our, hand, our head, <laughs> which you don't do a lot of in this practice. Big breath in and out. Lift yourself up, stretch your left leg out, bend your right knee. Give yourself a little twist, left arm around the right, twist to the right. And then come back to center, draw the right knee in, take your hands underneath your um, big toe, ball mount, and then lift the leg up and maybe kick it out. Oh, get that stretch. Inhale. And then exhale, keep the left hand to the right leg, take your right arm out to the right, little twist. A little balance. Bring it back to center. Bend the right knee and think about trying to draw that knee up towards your right shoulder. So like you could just kind of hang out right here, stretching the hip. It's okay if it does not get there. And if you're able to bring one hand down or the other hand, so the idea would be that that right leg is balancing on the right shoulder. You can kind of shift your weight 
and lift your bottom. <laughs> so that builds up to bigger arm balances, which we don't really get to a lot of those, but that can be a little trick. <laughs> and really shake it out. Bend the left knee. Just start with the twist. Twist into the left. <sighs> Take a few good breaths. And then unwind, draw the left knee in, lifting the foot, hold the foot, and then start to extend. You can keep the knee bent or stretch it out. Feel that big stretch. And then with the knee bent or straight, right hand stays on the left foot, left hand out to the left. Twist, maybe a stretch. Bring it back. And then just play with trying to bring that left um, knee over that left forearm or shoulder. And it might just be sort of like this. And you can stay here the whole time, just opening the hip. If you're able to sort of balance it, you can place your hands down by your hips and then give your bottom a little hop. Another little arm balance and then release. Stretch your legs out. Up on your sits bones, soften your knees, reach your arms up and then stretch over your legs. Really letting yourself ground here in gratitude for all those asymmetrical balance poses, different ways to balance. Feeling the breath in the body, the energy of the body. And just appreciating your body for whatever it has invited today. Take an inhale. Exhale. And roll yourself up, shake your legs out, bend your knees. Go ahead and roll yourself down, give yourself a big hug. And then you can stretch out for just a couple moments of relaxation. You can also take your legs up the wall or up the chair or lay over any props. You can also sit in meditation. But just let everything settle back to center after balancing for the better part of a half an hour. I do find the balance practices have so many benefits and there's so many ways to do it. So just honor yourself for showing up and playing. Again, that overall theme of this month, appreciation, gratitude, which can seem, you know, obviously a little generic being November, um, but it's not necessarily specific to the U.S. Thanksgiving. It's just, you know, as we get towards the end of the year, it's so easy to get distracted and stressed out and we have less daylight. And so it's also just that reminder to play and to appreciate and to focus on what we want, even when we're juggling and balancing all sorts of things. So just take a few more breaths, gathering up that get gratitude from all of our balance poses today, honoring yourself for showing up. And for a moment, let everything go. Take a big breath and fill the body all the way up, all the way up. And then let it all go. Bring movement back. Wiggle and stretch. Hug your knees in. Rock and roll. 
and eventually bring yourself up to sit. You can place your hands at your heart or in your, any way that feels good, grounding, appreciative. Take a big breath in together and let it go. And I'm so grateful to practice with you today. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.